Why, hello everybody, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be trying to make uh, the Aerial Daytona race. I don't think that I can get there, but the best laps of 107.1. We'll see if I can get that in qualifying, hopefully without that stick drift. But uh, we'll see what we can do here for sure. Uh, definitely got to try hard for this for like for sure. Boys, we may have a problem with this one. Uh, I keep getting this connection timeout. If you start my computer twice, I go back and I can do it. And it loads me in for a second and then like nothing shows up. I, I might just give it like a decade to to like show up. But I, I don't know really what to do in this situation. And qualifying servers are up, but they have 10 minute practice. So right now it is 4.53 and I've got to be in by five o'clock. At least that's when 20 minutes of qualifying starts. So yikes, I might not make it into this one. <laughs> okay, it is currently five o'clock and it is still happening. I did go in and uh, Put down a lap or two on daytona while i was waiting to see if that would fix anything and still nothing so welcome to mx bikes ladies and gentlemen if you have not got it i don't recommend doing it to gopro i'll tell you that much because these servers are fu so yeah what it really comes down to is the fact that i can't play the game because the game isn't stable enough to play see now this could be a complete me thing that's going on right now i really couldn't tell you um but it is a bummer i wanted to qualify for the event i don't know if i would have truly made it in uh this is definitely not my solid track this is as far off as it gets i am horrible at outdoors in this game i don't even think that there's a chance that i can qualify for outdoors uh, any of the rounds this upcoming season but uh it was super cross enough that i could uh maybe have a time i run down a 1071 i will look to see if that would have qualified me i don't doubt it but I definitely think that it's a stretch. I'd either be right there on the edge or I didn't make it. I don't think that there's any way that's a safe time. But uh, I ran a 107.1 in the course of 15 laps after not playing for another hour. So it will just give me a second to uh, to warm up to the track again. But I do kind of want to talk about this could totally be a me thing. I could be totally overreacting again. And I don't really think i am because this has happened to multiple people and there's just no seem like there just seems to be no fix and i don't know if i had anything to do with me restarting my computer beforehand or i don't know if anyone else was affected like i couldn't tell you the circumstances and whatnot and which went like I, I couldn't tell you what happened basically is what i'm trying to say so um it is nice to um to kind of talk about it and have a platform to talk about it to to maybe try to find a fix or see if it is my fault because I feel like there's plenty of times where I felt so lost on something and like I just can't do anything about it. I'm not going to go search the depths of Reddit for someone that might have experienced something because who knows uh -huh. and, and whatnot. So it's nice to have kind of this uh, this platform. I'm sure more than one or two people because I hear about my friends all the time that are not my friends, but one of my friends that play the game. Not all the time, but this occasionally happens to him as well. And it's happened to me before, but I just don't think that there's a fix for it so I, I don't know what to really tell you guys um if it happens to you as much like i don't know what i could tell you about it because as far as i know it is just a bug that happens with your servers nothing that you can do about it so i don't know if i'm completely on the right track and you guys might know exactly what it is and i could be sounding like a doofus right now but um yeah i don't know it's a bit it's a bit sketchy oh my goodness um i was not expecting to hit the top there i thought i boboed that just right try to get the bobo bump and then this inside right here has been tedious but i also have not played this it is currently 5 51 p.m so that's pretty fun i i've been kind of doing stuff elsewhere so um yeah, I mean, I'm excited for the races tomorrow and to get my full coverage and opinions on that. I'm listing my top 10s tomorrow, probably around race day live. If you guys don't know even what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. But uh, make sure to go check out my second channel. It is called Moto In Depth. I basically just talk about uh, IRL racing, like the AMA Supercross series and whatnot, and Super Motocross, like the, the, the new thing now. So you should go check that out i recently made a video saying that dax and bennett could be better than uh ah, hayden d in here in a decade or two so not a decade or two in like about a decade or, or five years down the road two years maybe i don't know we'll have to see how that ages but uh so far it's my most viewed video on that one so uh hopefully you guys continue to enjoy that but i'll hop back on the mx bikes train and uh talk about a little bit more about that i am kind of bummed though because i feel like this is the best speed i've ever had at one of these daytona tracks and i didn't even ride it for that long to be honest so 
I mean, the track came out, I think, at 11.30, my time, uh, 11.30 PST, so Pacific Standard Time. And then I went ahead and started playing it about 12 after downloading it at 11.30 because I had a friend over and we were kind of just hanging out. And then uh, he kind of got occupied doing something else, I think, with my brother. I, I couldn't tell you the exact. Oh, yeah, no, they actually went out into town and whatnot. So leaving me here and I kind of got like an hour or, or two of practice. Or I hate to call it practice, but I got a, a, cu a couple hours on the track, I think, like an hour 45 even. And then um, I was able to leave for another little bit and then come back. And then that's kind of when I started to set down my heaters. And then I played it for like another hour. So altogether, I know guys play it for like the second of release to the point of the race for NA. And I mean, to me, I did that with Arlington. I qualified generally easy, so it might work. So, um, I don't know, but once I don't have something going on, we'll test that theory. But, uh, for right now, I was pretty happy for how much time I spent to, like, what I got, like, result-wise. Or result-wise, I don't know. Um, I have not been hitting that like that. That is just completely happening on accident, and I can feel my back absolutely slipping out right there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. This is not the type of gameplay I was hoping to bring, but, um, it is what it is, but... That will be, you know, basically the general point of today's video is it was supposed to be a fun one. It's supposed to be me trying to qualify for Daytona. I thought that that would have been really fun. Still trying to get into my first main event. I've made it to three straight LCQs or so or something like that. And it just hasn't been the, quite the uh, the experience I've been hoping for. A couple of technical difficulties every, every other place. So I don't know. It, it is a little bit rough right now, but we'll figure it out. I have no doubt about that. Maybe maybe we'll get into to a main by the end of the season. Um, it does suck, though, because I'm kind of losing my chance. We are about, what, four or five rounds into this 250 East Championship now. So we'll have to see how that all ages and whatnot. This will be, like, the fourth round of it. So we'll see how that all passes and, and, and goes now because we barely have any races left. That's more of the line I was taking right there. And then I could cut this one in. And then I normally could corner out of that one a little bit better and then yeah not typically make a mistake there that's kind of what you're dreading happening and then kind of scrub into this corner head out here uh there was this line i'll see if i can get it for you guys it's very tough the third gear go up there you guys go kind of got it but um it's kind of that sort of deal i'm not sure it probably saves you 0.6 seconds if i had to guess maybe even more than that i guess somewhere around 0.6 or 0.8 uh, it could even save you up to second, but I don't know. I don't know about all that because uh, a second is actually a pretty long time when it comes to like split st uh, split seconds and whatnot. And, like it depends with what you're dealing with, but yeah, there are some pretty fast lines around uh, this track. Uh, I would love to tour for you guys. Maybe I'll do that for tomorrow's video if you guys are down. Show you guys some of the fast lines. Show you guys some of the fast ways or some of the lines that I found at least that worked out for me. I do have a track market handy dandy, so. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to really say. I mean, I thank you guys for the recent support on the channel. Recently, we've been getting um, a channel high in views, but the subscribers are like 48% of the last 28 days. So that's kind of a bummer, but it is cool to still, you know, continue to grow the channel, continue to kind of, uh, you know, just upload daily for you guys because I feel like that is what's most fun, at least for me, is just to consistently upload and give a platform not exactly what they want, but what they or what you want to put out for them at least so it is cool that i do get to do this um I'm not saying that i do it for a living or anything like that but yeah i still cannot get that line i don't even know why i'm going for it but that will probably conclude my efforts here today um bummer i couldn't race and hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day or night and that is probably the only two messages i really have to give you guys other than uh, reminding you guys to consider liking and subscribing but that will be all i will make sure to uh continue uploading tomorrow and the day after that and then the day after that so see you guys next time